Chapter 1, New World Beginnings Topic 1, The Shaping of North America 1. Recorded history began 6,000 years ago. It was 500 years ago that Europeans set foot on the Americas to begin colonization. 2. The theory of Pangaea exists, suggesting that the continents were once nestled together into one megacontinent. They then spread out as drifting islands. 3. Geologic forces of continental plates created the Appalachian and Rocky Mountains. 4. The Great Ice Age thrust down over North America and scoured the present-day American Midwest. Topic 2. Peopling the Americas 1. The Land Bridge Theory As the Great Ice Age diminished, so did the glaciers over North America. The theory holds that a land bridge emerged linking Asia and North America across what is now known as the Bering Sea. People were said to have walked across the bridge before the sea level rose and sealed it off, thus populating the Americas. The land bridge is said to have occurred an estimated 35,000 years ago. 2. Many peoples. Those groups that traversed the bridge spread across North, Central, and South America. Countless tribes emerged with an estimated 2,000 languages, notably the Incas of Peru with elaborate networks of roads and bridges linking their empire, the Mayans of the Yucatan Peninsula with their step pyramids, the Aztecs of Mexico with step pyramids and huge sacrifices of conquered peoples. Topic 3. The Earliest Americans 1. Development of corn or maize around 5000 BC in Mexico was revolutionary in that then people didn't have to be hunter-gatherers, they could settle down and be farmers. This fact gave rise to towns and then cities. Corn arrived in the present-day U.S. around 1200 B.C. 2. Pueblo Indians The Pueblos were the first American corn growers. They lived in adobe houses and pueblos. Pueblos are villages of cubicle-shaped adobe houses stacked one on top of the other and often beneath cliffs. They had elaborate irrigation systems to draw water away from rivers to grow corn. 3. Mound Builders These people built huge ceremonial and burial mounds and were located in the Ohio Valley. Cahokia near East St. Louis today held 40,000 people. 4. Eastern Indians Eastern Indians grew corn, bean, and squash in three sister farming. Corn grew in a stalk, providing a trellis for beans. Beans grew up the stalk. Squash's broad leaves kept the sun off the ground and thus kept the moisture in the soil. This group likely had the best diet of all North American Indians and is typified by the Cherokee, Creek, Choctaw, and Iroquois. 5. Iroquois Confederation Hiawatha was the legendary leader of the group. The Iroquois Confederation was a group of five tribes in New York State. They were matrilineal as authority and possessions passed down through the female line. Each tribe kept their independence but met occasionally to discuss matters of common interest, like war or defense. This was not the norm. Usually Indians were scattered and separated, and thus weak. 6. Native Americans had a very different view of things as compared to Europeans. Native Americans felt no man owned the land. The tribe did. Europeans liked private property. Indians felt nature was a mix with spir many spirits. Europeans were Christian and monotheistic. Indians felt nature was sacred. Europeans felt nature and land was given to man by God in Genesis to be subdued and put to use. Indians had little or no concept or interest in money. Europeans loved money or gold. Topic 4. Indirect Discoverers of the New World 1. The first Europeans to come to America were the Norse. Around 1000 AD, the Vikings landed, led by Eric the Red and Leif Erikson. They landed in Newfoundland or Vinland. However, these men left America and left no written record and therefore didn't get the credit. The only record is found in Viking sagas or songs. 2. The Christian Crusaders of the Middle Ages fought in Palestine to regain the Holy Land from the Muslims. This mixing of East and West created a sweet tooth where Europeans wanted the spices of the exotic East. Topic 5. Europeans enter Africa 1. 
Marco Polo traveled to India and stirred up a storm of European interest. 2. Mixed with desire for spices, an east to west or Asia to Europe trade flourished, but had to be over land, at least in part. This initiated new exploration down around Africa in hopes of an easier all-water route. 3. Portugal literally started a sailing school to find better ways to get to the Spice Islands, eventually rounding Africa's southern Cape of Good Hope. 4. New Developments Caravel, a ship with triangular sail that could better tack or zigzag ahead into the wind and thus return to Europe from Africa's coast. Compass, to determine direction. Astrolabe, a sextant gizmo that could tell a ship's latitude. 5. Slave trade begins. The first slave trade was across the Sahara Desert. Later it was along the West African coast. Slave traders purposely busted up tribes and families in order to squelch any possible uprising. Slaves wound up on sugar plantation the Portuguese had set up on the tropical islands off Africa's coast. Spain watched Portugal's success with exploration and slaving and wanted a piece of the pie. Topic 6. Columbus Comes Upon a New World 1. Christopher Columbus convinced Isabella and Ferdinand to fund his expedition. 2. His goal was to reach the east by sailing west, thus bypassing the around Africa route that Portugal monopolized. 3. He misjudged the size of Earth, though thinking it was one-third the size of what it was. 4. So after 30 days or so at sea, when he struck land, he assumed he made it to the East Indies and therefore mistook the people as Indians. 5. This spawned the following system. Europe would provide the market, capital, and technology. Africa would provide the labor. The New World would provide the raw materials, such as gold, soil, and lumber. Topic 7. When Worlds Collide 1. Of huge importance was the biological flip-flop of old and new worlds. Simply put, we traded life such as plants, foods, animals, and germs. 2. Columbian exchange. From the new world, America, to the old. Corn, potatoes, tobacco, beans, peppers, manioc, pumpkin, squash, tomatoes, rice, etc. Also syphilis. From the old world to the new, cows, pigs, horses, wheat, sugar cane, apples, cabbage, citrus, carrots, Kentucky bluegrass, and so on. Devastating diseases such as smallpox, yellow fever, and malaria. As Indians had no immunities, the Indians had no immunities in their system built up over generations. An estimated 90% of all pre-Columbus Indians died mostly due to disease.